IQ season 2 episode 17. Daichi better be alright. Oh, this is the fun team. Yeah, that's how it works. When you lose, you start rooting for the team that beat you. But it's kind of like a way to let yourself off the hook. Speak for yourself. I noticed him since the beginning, since his introduction, but no, I get it. He's not flashy. He hasn't had a lot of dramatic moments in the show so far. He's just kind of like the rock, the foundation on which the team is built. I don't think there is a team. I don't think they go anywhere without Daichi, honestly. It's hard to explain, but in a way, I feel like sometimes groups are set by their upper and lower limits. Somebody who's truly great in a group will pull the group up, and somebody who has a lot of negative traits in the group has the potential to bring them down. And between the floor and the ceiling, you have the dynamic range of the team to a certain extent, although it's more 3D than that because of the various different categories of traits. But what someone like Daichi does, someone who's at the top like this and is like really grounded and well put together. Actually, a, a great example or parallel would be what they were saying about volleyball. Someone who's strong enough to keep a group grounded in that way actually lets them experience more and be more free in a sense and experience greater growth and greater exploration, partly because they eliminate some of the, the variables that are no good. Some of the chaos that people have that we see in a lot of these these team members, especially the younger, younger kids. I can say one of the best influences in my life is uh, a friend who's also kind of an older brother figure to me and he's just so insightful and strong and clear about life that at first coming into his orbit it, it was kind of a, a negative experience for me or a painful experience I should say because it was like I was being kind of wrestled into a, a more useful shape but the amazing thing was once I kind of got into that structure it was some of the most expansive points in my life of the most growth and actually the most fun and most play because I had eliminated a lot of the sort of loose threads that weren't serving me and could actually focus on things that were more transcendent than the level I was used to living in. There's this balance to be struck where actually having more freedom makes you less free, if that makes sense. And having more structure makes you more free. That I think is kind of what they've been building with Daichi in the last couple episodes with the previous game and now this one. It's kind of like Daichi focus arc. My only hope is that he's not injured severely. <laughs> Episode 17, the battle without willpower. Nobody wants this. Oh, poor Tanaka too, he must feel terrible. Stop, I can't look at this anymore. <laughs> that was too long, lingered too long. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, 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 this is positive. He's conscious. Whew, huge relief off the bat. Good, good, good. Maybe sit it out for a few. A few, yeah. Yeah, get it checked out. It's more important than volleyball. As much as it hurts. Yeah, makes sense. Solid. Look like he was out there first. Oh, he lost a tooth. Alright, you gotta rally together for Daichi's sake. I feel like they're about to realize just how critical Daichi was, despite being sort of on the quiet side. No, no, no. No, no, it's not your fault. Not your fault. Even in this state, being a leader, grounding them out, is the man. Yep, we've seen that. He can channel it. When he needs to. I don't know, have some faith in Tanaka. Which is exactly why you cannot lose this. They could go that route, right? They could go the panic route of like, oh no, we have no Daichi. Or, they could, yeah, do something like that. Fight for him. All right, uh, like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, match is important, but I think this is an opportunity since Daichi's okay with that out of the way. Big shoes to fill. It's a lot of pressure. This is his first game, right? First real game. Yeah, I don't think he can. He should be thinking about it in terms of taking his place, because he can't. He shouldn't be expected to be a leader, and I don't think anyone does. Daichi's role, like, he's a very skilled player, but that's clearly not where he transcends. His transcendent element is his leadership and emotional awareness. That's not something he's going to be able to walk into. That's something I think the team has to pick up. So Chikara's job is be a half-decent wing spiker. But then again, who knows? Maybe he actually could outperform my expectations. Oh. Oh, he's already going into motivational speeches. Hi, 
Do it for Daichi. Let him come back from the infirmary to see a victory. Yeah, I was fully expecting him to like cave, honestly. I guess there's something about the wing spiker position that demands leadership. I guess it's built into the role. Okay, alright, alright. Just one point. Don't let them get momentum, please. Oh no. It's alright, don't mind, don't mind, don't mind. There you go, that's refreshing. That feels good. Whoa. <laughs> Just standing in Daichi's spot in the court does something to him. Just break the momentum. Just get one. Oh damn it. <laughs> Just these mid cards. A flashback in a moment like this. Huh. So many rules. So many rules. Ran away what? From what? And how? Did he quit and come back? Uh, that's alright. That's alright. We forgive you. Skipped flashback. <laughs> but now you're back and you're on the court. All that matters is what you do now. There's a really bad momentum to that too. You get one of those days off. That's fatal. The fact that he went back speaks vol volumes of him by itself. I mean, hab habit and just ritual is 90% of it. Let's get old fast. I think if you get burned out like that, or just reach any kind of breaking point, taking a step back often just seals your fate. It's hard to get back to the point you were at when you were giving it your all. One, because it just feels so good to temporarily take a, a rest, do other things that you've been neglecting. Also because one of the ways you keep yourself going when, you, when you're in a state of just absolute devotion, dedication to something, is by kind of convincing yourself or tricking yourself that you have to, or feeling like it's compulsory, that there are negative stakes to not doing it. As soon as you take a break, that kind of like shatters that illusion that it's vital for your survival. I think it's really hard to brute force your way back into that situation again. The only way is to have some kind of really personal connection or vision for it, which I think probably is a saving grace. Like he's imagining or remembering the glory of playing volleyball well. I mean, honestly, what impresses me most about this is the fact that he returned at all. So I don't think he needs to apologize about quote unquote running away. And like I said, anyway, he's, he's here now, right here now in the tournament, in this moment. After the remainder of this flashback. <laughs> Yeah, also it's hard to face, like, people you let down, or feel you let down. Oh, the captain predecessor. Weird seeing Daichi answer to someone. I don't know, I feel like Daichi found a way. The Daichi fanboying continues. But I think one of the things that makes Daichi such a followable, respectable leader is precisely that he always is nice. I think you can be nice and firm. You know, you can be strong and nice. It's not about not being nice. It's about being clear, being focused. I don't know what it is. You know, there's some kind of magic, but I think people can distinctly feel the difference. They can feel what's under underlying whatever surface words or actions there are. When Daichi is hard on people, it doesn't feel bad. It feels like it comes from a good place. You can just immediately intuit that. That's one of his gifts. The Daichi fanboy, fanboying continues to continue. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, it's not even a bad thing necessarily to quit, it just depends. Well, here's your chance. Got it. That flashback really paid off. <laughs> There it is. No more running away. Then honestly, he's doing Daichi service. He's doing his role justice. Damn, I saw you really mastering that jump serve. I was hoping he would just like power through this whole whole rest of this match. 
What do you make of that? Two more points. Two more points. Oh no, this poor guy is so fried after the last tournament. Oh no, I'm so nervous for him. I don't know, both are nerve wracking. Looks like he might actually be great as a future captain. Just gotta get it over the net. Just over the net. Oh, he's doing a jump serve. Just. There you go, there. Just get over the net. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> you don't need to show me. I'm traumatized for life by that, that moment. There you go. Just like that. Wipe the slate clean. Cut the jitters out. Watch him crush this one. Don't forget to have fun. Crush it. Crush it. Huh. He backed off of the jump serve. I thought we learned that lesson from Asahi. Oh no. Oh no, everyone remembers too. Oh god. It's good he can't hear this. And at least they're sympathetic. You got it. You got this. Snap out of it. Yes. Yes, that's it, right? Yes. Wow, that's only the first game. Daichi's still out. Yes, I really came through. I know who he's headed for. Yeah, for sure. He's feeling it more acutely than anyone. He backed off a little bit. But the moral lesson is important too. And it just feels awful to give to capitulate to your own fear like that. It's not what you want. No one wants that. And you feel like you you lose control. Something overrode what you wanted, what your instincts told you. Good. That's a huge relief. Yeah, I mean, he lost a tooth. Fair. Little check in on Ushijima. Wow, total obliteration. That's really ominous. So they're down. You just skip way ahead in that second game. That was a heavy episode. A lot of people dealing with some pretty heavy conflicts. I know his pain. I really hate that feeling of there's something you know you should do. There's something you really want to do and you feel paralyzed. It's a terrifying feeling because it's where concept of self means reality of self and exposes a gap, you know, like a major weakness where, wow, I can't even act when I want to. You know, I'm overridden by some other mechanism that I don't have control over. Who am I really? Which is why there's no reason to point it out. You know, he's going to be suffering more than anyone else in that situation. The good news is he's got a chance. It's not over. He's still on the court, presumably. It is a big moment. It seems like they're down, which is horrifying. Daichi is not back for this, this game. Obviously, the most satisfying conclusion for him would be to find his feet and start moving. <laughs>